Dirty, dirty, dirty Donna. Little bit of meat upon her, bit of bread I wanna. My dirty, dirty, dirty Donna. <laughs> First bite, what a concoction. But tonight's the night for an enterotoxin. <laughs> Carried by E. coli in my uncooked Donna beef. Spread rapidly through my intestinal tract, quickly causing grief. E. coli can swim 30 times its length in a second. Powered by a machine that's amazing, I reckon. The bacterial flagella motor. Fastest machine on the planet. And I'd have it under the bonnet of my molecular Vauxhall Astra because it's five times faster than a Formula One and it's done solely by evolution. <laughs> it's not E. coli that's the toxic bona fide, it's that it's inherited toxic genes on its evolutionary ride. So in certain strains like O157H7, it's got something that will take you to the toilet guessing. Whether you're coming up or going down, that's because you've got a pathogen in town. <laughs> the enterotoxin had a soft target to attack, the luminal cells lining the wall of my stomach. It descends the ribosome, where proteins are made. And with no new proteins, these cells will soon fade. Cellular death from a gastric grenade. And blood and dead cells around my stomach are sprayed. Now, this leakage directly into my gut has nowhere to go but down and out through my butt. <laughs> it wasn't my chef's preconceived idea to give me a dose of secretory diarrhea, but when he failed to cook thoroughly the swiveling stick, I was left crouched with liquidy shit. <laughs> my stomach responded the only way it knew how, by cramping and pumping the offending item of chow. I couldn't assist by taking pills or antibiotics, that might kill all the cells and release more stuff that's toxic. I just had to wait and wait and wait. Eventually, my cells would repair and I began to feel great. But in questions of digestion, it's usually better to use prevention. In this case, make sure you thoroughly cook it or boil it unless you want to be tormented by the demons of the toilet. <laughs> My last notice is this. Always think of alternatives to avoid a toxic kerfuffle. Look at the whole menu and perhaps order your falafel. <laughs> in rhyme as well. The competition's his. I'll do one then. Bloody hell, Matthew. Talk about risk-taking. You come on stage eating with liquid around the place. You do a poem. And you go straight into a fabulous humour. Do you think there are any risks? Uh, and, and, and I thought that was just astonishing. Just astonishing. But what was your main scientific point? And do you think there are any risks in telling a poem that we might miss actually what you're, saying, you're trying to say with the science? Well, I think the, the scientific points, the, the two of them I wanted to address is like that 